Technical Service 101 channel. Uh, yes, here is I bring you Lucifer, <laughs> the bringer of light, the morning star. What we have here is a bit of a beast of a configuration. What you're seeing there is uh, eight Luxion 1211s from the uh, Gen 3 range. We've got four 4K uh, 70 CRI and four 27K at 80 CRI. And they are mounted onto a full extruded profile, obviously and the other way up and this is designed to be either actively or passively cooled uh, just some of the little details here before I put on the test as you can see there we've got uh, binding post connections to both rails and as you can see we've got a, a bus system with some pretty robust wires going between the binding posts and these buses, and each of these buses, one's obviously positive, one's negative, and this reduces the wiring complication on the face of the device. Obviously reduces any sort of cleaning issues and also temperature issues. Anyway, I hope you can see this on screen. That entire rig is running at 9 watts. Now offload this supply. takes three of those watts <laughs> so that was six watts between eight cobs just slightly under one watt per cob that's just phenomenal there you go, if I just bring it up oh, make you wake your camera <laughs> the camera doesn't know what it's supposed to be focusing on come on, wake up, wake up, wake up there we go, right so let's just try that again. Oh yeah, just a, uh, another little uh, detail there is uh, those bus bars are being held off of the heatsink by these plastic standoffs tapped and threaded into the heatsink for insulation purposes of course. And the, uh, the actual bus bars themselves are simply a 7mm uh, off-cut from uh, my casing material, which is this 7mm bright alley sheet. So, should we run the beast up? Let there be light. piece there or thereabouts which at about 40 volts uh, forward forward voltage gives us around the 1.4 milliamps on each uh, now this unit really is intended for, um, for active cooling so obviously we've got a attachment on either end however while heat soaking heat soak testing this uh, after assembly the other day uh, I was able to run it up to full temperature after about four hours and then switch off the fan and not suffer from any thermal overrun problems or excessive overheating obviously you are going to get a bit of a thermal gradient down the, the unit if you're just cooling from one end moderate issue really this end of the unit stays touch cold this end while being ducted only gets moderately hot so there you go this won't be a, a production prototype as such this is more of a, uh, a technology test uh, intended for being able to be varied uh, 
hats off to Grey Mouse there and we're probably also with the use of our buses here going to be able to go for a few monos dotted along there but that's for a later date so there you go just a quick update on why I've been a bit quiet I don't go quiet I just get bloody busy so uh, thanks for watching and uh, keep them peeled I hope to have a really interesting unit based around this concept in the pipeline in the next month or so Keep them peeled, folks. See you later. Lux out.